Hey, welcome back to Career Dave, where we try and do DevOps just better. A few days ago, I've been interviewed by the Hong Kong Developers Magazine, and in that hour-long interview, we talk about a lot of things, about community, about being an MVP, and of course, being what I do, we talk a lot about DevOps, DevSecOps, and DevOps practices, how to be a better DevOps engineer, a better DevOps architect, and DevOps mindset in general. And so today I have for you the extract of that interview, the part in which I talk about DevOps with the interviewers, and we share all the things DevOps. And I've made the whole interview available to all my patrons, together with all the exclusive content we have there. So if you're interested in that and check out your options, go to patreon.com slash coderdave to sign up. But enjoy the interview. DevOps is really uh, starting from 2014-15. People start talking about DevOps. Yeah, I, I'm 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 not sure about dates. I'm I'm terrible with dates and things like that. Um, so <laughs> I'm not sure about when it started, but in fact, it's not something very new because, as I mentioned before, there was something called application lifecycle management, um, which is let's say the 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 the, the father of DevOps, if you will. And most, most, or a lot of the concepts we have now in DevOps come from that uh, practice, if you will, or discipline. Um, and that's been around for forever. I don't know when, when it started, but it's been around for many, many years. Um, and I think that DevOps is just an evolution of that, that now is getting more and more popular because companies realize that is something that Basically, you need to be doing if you want to be successful in the market, if you want to you know, bring your products or services to the market in a quick time with higher quality and so on and so forth. So uh, as you said, uh, the companies, they, they want to have a quality product, they should have DevOps or should have yeah. these practices. Uh, how about uh, some small company, SME startup, they only have maybe two to three engineers. Do they still need DevOps or they should skip it? <laughs> they do. Um, I think, in my opinion, they do need. Um, and one thing I want to clarify is that when I when I talk about DevOps, I don't mean you know DevOps engineers or you know it, it's not DevOps for me is not a role or is not a it's not a department. Is a set of practices, processes, and tools, um, and most importantly, culture that you have in the company. You can have you can be a single person company and still do DevOps, and you should. Um, obviously, you know, if the scale of the company or the organization changes, uh, practices will change, processes will change, but DevOps is something that should apply to every single company and every size of the companies, no matter if you're big or small, because it's just what, hap what helps you in, in being more productive, being, you know, having higher quality uh, and being faster to market. So it now comes to another question is, which is uh, uh, people, some, some people say, okay, that all means developer, developer and operations. So I have heard from you that uh, you want to talk about really about the culture yeah. practice. So um, what is the definition of, from your point of view, that office? Well, the definition I, I like to use when I talk about DevOps is something that Donovan Brown uh, created a few years ago. And it says that DevOps is the union of um, people, processes, and products to give continuous value to your users or to your clients. And when we talk about people, it's all about culture. Um, because as you said, if you can have developers and you can have operations and you put them together, but if they don't know how to work together, that's not doing DevOps. That's just creating mess, right? <laughs> so people, and people is the most important part of the equation. You need, to, you need to know how to do that. You need to develop the company culture that allows you to do proper DevOps. And, and to do that, you need the processes. This is the second part. So you need processes in place to say, okay, if this happened, do this. When this is completed, then go through this and, and so on and so forth. And then are the products, which basically means technologies and tools. And that comes last because you need to find the tools that, you know, uh, that um, allow you to implement the processes you have defined, which are based on the culture you started with, right? And, and all of these, as the definition that I use say, is to, to enable the continuous delivery of value uh, to your user, your clients, or whoever else. 
Um, and then the definition of value, of course, it's in, it depends on the company, depends on the organization. Everyone has a different idea of what value is for them. So that is something that you need to define as a, as a company, as an organization, or even as an individual. But then if you can find, you know, again, the tools, the processes, and the, and the culture that allow you to, to do that continuously, to continuously increase and deliver value, then is when you do the box. Mm, I see. So um, it is quite different from some, you know, just Wikipedia saying, okay, demo yeah. is uh, this kind of tools. So for, for me, uh, I have a lot of graduates that they are working as a programmer. They usually ask me how do they maybe switch their career to DevOps or DevOps engineer. Mm -hmm. Do you have any advice that they should start working with? Uh, some, someone say it's about surf at me, but how would you clarify? Well, yeah, that's, that's, it's probably, that is probably the most difficult question to answer because when someone comes to me and says, okay, I'm a DevOps engineer, I really don't know what they're doing because each company has a different definition of what a DevOps engineer is. And most of them are, have nothing to do with DevOps, right? Yeah. Um, so I think that um, a, lot of, a lot of people are DevOps engineers, but all they do is doing you know, CICD and creating yeah. pipelines for deployments. Um, sure, that's one kind of uh, DevOps engineer, I guess. Um, and as, I mean, I have nothing, nothing against uh, mm -hmm. people doing that or companies using those definitions. It just, I think, is a matter of understanding what the role is about. Uh, for me, what I consider a good DevOps engineer is someone that, yeah, can do CICD, but can look into, can look beyond that, can see, you know, how the systems are operated in production, for example, and can see where the software comes from and possibly is able to understand the maybe not 100% of the programming that is behind that piece of software, but at least he knows how it works, again, how to operate that, have a general understanding of the company procedures and the company objectives, because you, you need that, in my opinion, to be able to, to be a good developer, uh, sorry, a good um, DevOps person. Um, so if you're just, just, if you're a developer and you wanna switch more into DevOps, um, of course, you need to focus on tools, even though I said tools are the things that come last, but if a company wanna hire you, you need to know the tools. Uh, and that, again, can be something like Kubernetes or can be something like you know Azure DevOps and GitHub or whatever else for CICD. And, and that's more or less up to you because it depends on what you wanna focus your career on. Uh, but apart from the tools, uh, you, you should have at least a good understanding of um, all processes um, because even if you focus only on CI/CD, you need to understand what processes are in place for your CI/CD. Because it's not that every time you receive somehow an artifact or a package, then you need to deploy it to production, for example, or you know, and th things like that. And the last thing I normally give as an advice is just even if you are just focusing on CI/CD, don't just create a pipeline to ship the product or to ship the service. Try to think on how you can make that better, how you can improve. Um, that, in my opinion, is what DevOps people in general, whether a DevOps engineer, architect, whatever they are called, DevOps people should do always continuous improvement on, on themselves, but also on the processes, on the tools. So how can I make things better, easier, more streamlined, and things like that, even if no one asks you to do it. But that's what, in my opinion, is your role. Mm, okay. I see. So I, I, I really get that uh, the bubble tools and also on top of the tools of, of the process culture and the mindset is the mindset, how you make things yeah. continuously better. Yeah. So I wanted to ask uh, another question about these ops. There are so many ops now today, ML ops, dev set yeah. ops. Are they also the dev ops or are they the future of dev ops? What do you think? Um, they are different flavors of DevOps. Um, I think the, the foundations should be the same. They are just applied to different things because different area, areas may have a different, uh, different needs or different requirements. Like doing DevOps for, for data is different than doing DevOps for um, code, right? Or is different at least in the sense that they have different tools and processes may be different. Um, may or may not depend on, on you know, how do you apply that. Uh, same thing for MLOps. So they are 
I think the DevOps is the general foundation. And then each one is a little bit more specialized in a specific um, area or scenario that you're trying to achieve. Yeah. And yeah. They're, not, they're not necessarily the future of DevOps. I believe that, as I said, DevOps is the foundation and should and will continue to evolve with different things, different technologies, different processes, and you know, again, continuous improvement. And then there will still be always these different branches, if you will, dedicated to the to the different technology or 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 area in which you have to apply them. Mm -hmm. I see. I I I think you have uh, also answered the answer this in previous question because it's also about the mindset of uh, DevOps mindset in mind. Uh, have you ever applied this kind of DevOps mindset in other areas? As just as you said, you also do something even beyond technologies. Yeah. Did you yeah. Also apply this? Um, yeah, absolutely. I mean, you know, when when you as always, when your mindset change, then it it's difficult not to apply it everywhere, right? And sometimes it's it's not it's not good. Like if you try to apply DevOps to relationships, few <laughs> things may not work as you think or as you want to, but other do. Because if you think, for example, the continuous improvement, you can apply it to everything, right? You can apply to every single layer of your life, whether it's work, whether it's hobbies, whether it's personal relationships. Um, and the, the approaches can be also applied to many things because if you can define processes for, for anything really, then you can, you know, do that thing using those processes. And then you can look back and see, okay, I did this and I achieved that. How can I get better? And get better can be, you know, how can I use less resources when I cook? Or how can I spend less time doing laundry? Or, you know, just do, doing basic examples or silly examples, but you can apply that everywhere. Obviously the tools will be different because for cooking, you use different tools than for doing laundry or than for personal relationships. But the concepts may be similar. And um, again, I'm not saying you need to be an nerd and do that in every single aspect of your life, but um, I, I, did apply, I did and do apply that in, in many different things. Um, and at this point, I do it even in, um, uh, uh, subconsciously because I don't, I don't have to think about it. I, it's already part of how I think. And, and that going back to what Aaron was asking before, that probably is one of the secret recipes I have for, for, my, uh, for my small success um, in the things I do. Got it, got it. thank you, Dave. I, I start to think I uh, have to really practice on my DevOps and then I will start a marriage of maybe something. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, I, I think, uh, yeah, there's quite a lot and, um, yeah, there's there's one more one more thing yeah. I I, I want to say about DevOps if you if I if I may, um, and it's kind of going back to what you asked before about ML ops and data ops etc. There is something that is called DevSecOps, yeah, um, which I, is a definition that, as you as you, if if you look back, I've never used during this conversation, right? And the reason for that is because I really don't like how this has been um, kind of shared, right? Because if I talk about DevOps and then I talk about DevSecOps, it seems like they are two different things, right? So what DevSecOps is in theory is the applying security on top of DevOps and then using basically DevOps for applying security, right? In my opinion, that doesn't make sense, not because security is not important, but I mean, DevSecOps itself doesn't make sense as a definition, because in my opinion, security must be part of DevOps anyway. I don't need another definition. Security is super important, especially nowadays. So yeah, you want to call it DevSecOps? Cool, call it DevSecOps. But it's not something that is optional. It's not something that comes later. It's something that must be in DevOps. You always need to focus on security as you need to focus on testing, as you need to focus on deploying and all the other stuff. That's something I, I, it's, I'm really passionate about because I see a lot of people saying, okay, we do DevOps, then we do DevSecOps next time. No, it doesn't work like that. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. I, I, I heard a lot about people saying, yeah, my 
Well, two years ago, DevOps. Now I'm test DevOps. <laughs> it's like a progression. They thought. Yeah, and and again, I understand that you need to prioritize things. Yeah. But security is important. Uh, you should always have it in mind oh, yeah. when you develop, when you deploy, when you do everything. Right. Right. It, it couldn't eliminate or you just couldn't take that out. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Thank you. Oh, yeah.